Ju Kwan and Daniel Shin's chats reveal early fraud intent at Terraform Labs. Jai Pradap last updated, June 17, 2024 at 11.08 GMT plus 31 minute read. South Korean prosecutors have submitted evidence suggesting Terraform Labs company founder Du Kwon and former Chai CEO Hyun Sung Shin may have planned to deceive investors from the outset. The Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office presented a written statement to Shin's trial court alleging a May 2019 text exchange between Kwon and Shin regarding the Chai payment app. Prosecutors claim that conversation reveals Kwon proposing the creation of fake transactions that look real to inflate the app's activity. Shin reportedly responded with a suggestion to test it on a small scale, Lachlan Media Outlet reported. Did Du Quan intend to deceive investors from the start? According to the prosecutors, the text exchange between Quan and Shin demonstrates an intention to deceive investors by manipulating terror-related transactions. They believe the company aimed to attract investment by artificially inflating trading volume through fabricated transactions. Shin and his representatives have denied the charges, attributing the collapse of Terra and Luna to Quan's leadership and external pressures. Notably, this conversation also formed part of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's second case against Quan in the Southern District of New York. The U.S. jury found in favor of the second in April, acknowledging Quan's fraudulent activities. Terraform Labs agrees to pay $4.47 billion in penalties. The second's lawsuit filed in 2021 accused Terraform Labs and its company founder of misleading investors regarding Terra's stability, leading to significant financial losses. Following the jury verdict, a $4.47 billion settlement was reached, requiring Quan to pay a hefty fine and reimburse investors approximately $6.1 trillion. Kwan, who fled South Korea in April 2022, shortly before the Terra Luna crash, remains in Montenegro after facing arrest for passport forgery. U.S. prosecutors in New York have indicted him on eight charges, including securities fraud. Currently, the U.S. and South Korea are engaged in a tug-of-war to secure his extradition. Follow us on Google News.